Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot messages, your weekly general tarot reading, Aries. Um, I also just recently did your uh, urgent spirit guide messages as well as your urgent ancestor messages for your zodiac sign, Aries, through all of the messages that through tarot, of course. Um, which I'll leave links to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, my beautiful Aries, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you, Aries, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you do find some cards that resonate with you, Aries, I'd really appreciate it for you to take the extra time to support my channel by giving me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always appreciate it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel. As well as let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you, Aries. Let me know which card called out to you the most and how it does because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Uh, and then finally, my beautiful Aries, I just am here to remind you as well that I'm not here to make a decision in your life. This is your life to live, not mine, not the tarot cards, not any tarot reader that you receive, not any tarot reading actually you receive. Uh, anyway, I believe tarot readings, tarot cards should be here to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making it a choice or a decision in your life because it's your life to live, Aries, not mine, not the tarot cards, any of that. So all that being said, let's start with your general energy this week, my beautiful Aries. So we'll start with the Moon Oracle card for you, Aries. We have the New Moon in Sagittarius. So with this card right off the bat, this, I mean, the card it says, itself says, luck is on your side, Aries. So definitely a very beautiful, the energy in of itself is already turning, seemingly being like, things are probably starting to work out a little bit. You might be seeing a little bit more traction in the stuff that you're doing now. You might be seeing a little bit more, even if in general, like how luck being on your side, Aries, maybe the luck in itself is just uh, things just no longer giving too much resistance to you now, Aries. Uh, things like just start or seeing like a river flowing with no like rocks in the middle or like anything. So it's like, I feel as if things are starting to start um, flowing for you better, a little bit less uh, resistance. We have as well coming in the Three of Cups. Um, so definitely a good, bountiful time, it seems, for those, uh, for you and other people in your life right now, Aries. I don't know if you work with other people. Um, I don't know if you are in like, uh, live in a house where it's like you're working on some type of group project, right? Or just even like in your, uh, just your, the ones closest to you, I feel like is, I feel like it's just like you as well as like your circle, Aries, are starting to, like is starting to like, uh, favor you. Uh, fortune is starting to favor you in this sense, uh, Aries. So really good sign in that. When I see with the, also when I see with this three of cups as well, when you consider luck as being on your side and the new moon, uh, because new moons represent Aries, new beginnings. So I would suggest maybe even start uh, this week, make some plans with your friends in the sense of if you, being that luck is on your side, you know, maybe you want to create something with your friends. Um, because with this three of cups, I can't help but see, you know, some type of push in this way. Paired with the four of discs as well, Aries. Now with this four of discs, this is just like, um, you probably, Aries, have been sitting for a while. You probably have felt like there has been a pause in action or just really not much going on, nothing seemingly worthy of you investing your pentacles into, Aries. With this card, I usually call this like the sitting duck card, Aries, just because it's like, it's usually like an individual waiting for like the right moment to, um, put their uh, pentacles into something, to put their energy, put their, invest their, pentacles into some type of situation and it seemingly could be Aries like this is seemingly like the perfect week for you to start making your proper to for you to start making those events investments and apologize Aries uh, with those pentacles into whatever the situation is that it seems to be covering for you whatever it is that you're wanting to like um I mean I don't even feel like it's this is in speaking about one specific thing in general Aries I just feel like this is just a time for you to go uh all in at this time. Really put yourself into, uh, you know, if you're self-employed, Aries, put yourself into that mode of um, putting out products. If you're in uh, doing some type of creative pursuit, really start taking this time to uh, 
do something with that involve other people in that process as well because i feel like it would be very successful you know when you see that luck is on your side Aries, you really just want to see any action that you do um working out in your favor so what do you want to have like to work out in your favor right is it like having closer connections with those the closest to you is it you know bringing forth more financial success right to a disc discs does come in where it does hint at with these pentacle cards Probably in terms of like your career or just financials in general, it may have been a little bit chaotic. It may have been in the situation where, um, you know, like things just weren't seemingly all that promising initially, right? Um, I can't help but just feel like you're, you're just getting out of a rough stretch, Aries. Now with this two of discs as well, I see this as you. Hmm, I don't want to, I was going to say I see lessen like, normally you would see this in the rest of these cards and be like, oh, Aries is starting to lessen their load a little bit. But in fact, I can't help but feel like with this, it's like you lessen your load by taking, like, clearing away stuff that no longer serves you. And I say that because you're queen of air, queen of swords, and normal to row. Uh, this card itself says objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, and seeing the humor in a situation, Aries. So I say, like, it seems like you clear your plate, but then quickly afterwards you fill up your plate with more stuff. But this time it seems to be more abundant stuff, right? Maybe before clearing away that no longer seeing, uh, serving you and being told that you need to see the humor in a situation, Aries, you can kind of gather in that maybe perhaps like before you weren't re like, you were kind of stuck in this like standstill because you were um, not sure where to invest your pentacles into. You weren't sure like what the right decision was. And now I just see you in the sense of where it's like, uh, Aries, it's like maybe you've worked on yourself and you were just like, okay, well, because maybe you're just perhaps ready to um, get the ball rolling again. I can't help but feel like you were maybe perhaps areas at the standstill just because of like a mental, being mentally taxed for whatever reason. The wheel card, yeah. The wheels areas are starting to turn in your favor. The wheel card is the wheel of fortune. So when you see this wheel card come in, um, I just feel like this, I mean, the, just with this general spread right now, Aries, it just seems to be like things are just shifting into gear for you. Uh, you know, like Wheel of Fortune is a very abundant card. It is, I mean, normally in normal tarot, you'll see that it's like a representation of like a pentacle as well, Aries. Um, so very much so, this general energy of things before you get into even any specifics uh, seems to be pointing towards just such a bountiful time, right? And I, I just love the message being in the new moon in Sagittarius because the new moon represents new beginnings. Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius is our known Aries usually for like... Um, taking risks. Sagittarius are usually known for travel of some sort, usually constantly, not really sitting in one position. So I would even say, Aries, this is like the week to dabble into new things. And I know, like, I'm going to bring back this Three of Cups again, just because it's like, I feel like that's the new thing that you should consider dabbling into, is seeing what collaborative efforts that you can do with other people. So very interesting starting spread my beautiful aries now let's start getting into the actual rows of things that's how i do these readings aries is i always will start out with um i'll do a row for my aries that are interested in hearing about their financial matters their uh career and all their work all that right i also do a row for my aries that are interested in hearing about their social dynamics as well you know that whether that's romantic uh aries whether that's platonic soulmate twin flame business connection you know just your social connections and then the last row is just some final cards final clarifying thoughts final messages so let's start getting into my aries that are interested in hearing about their financial situation this week so we have as the starting energy the seven of discs the knight of swords and then the devil card yes Mm -hmm. This is what the starting energy was uh, referencing to as well, Aries, because this devil, this is what I was kind of hinting at, something that like, what I, what I saw you clearing away, Aries, is almost like just the blockages that you had in yourself. And I'm not saying that it was just you yourself that was holding you back, Aries. Obviously, there's just like so many outliers um, of outside reasons that could be impacting you or impeding you towards your goals. But I see you just taking the empowered route and just being like, okay, well, since you're at the, you feel like you're at the standstill right now, how can you have forward motion, right? And with this Knight of Swords, it's almost like, Aries, you identified the, um, 
mental hurdles that you were going through, right? Because again, I do get the sense that there's just some type of mental fatigue that you've been going through for a while. And dare I say that mental fatigue varies, came from a um, page of cups, almost like a pressure into a, putting yourself into like a new uh, phase of your work situation, of your financial situations. It's almost like for a lot of you Aries, you just want to go to like the next step right it's like you want to um hurry up and get that promotion um hurry up and just bring forth more uh money into your life right because the page of cups represents new beginnings but it's also just like the deepening of things that are already there so it's almost like you just put so much pressure on yourself recently uh aries in terms of that and so because you put so much pressure in regards to that aries you then start being hard on yourself you then start wondering like while you're watering your crops with that seven of discs you start getting in your head about it and just being like oh well do those crops like am i even doing enough to tend to those crops right am i putting enough energy into the seeds that i'm hoping to um harvest at some point right you start doubting the actions you're doing and then because you start getting in your head when you're tending to those seven pentacles right um, what are those seven pentacles are the representation of for you um aries because of that you get in your head about it then you kind of like all together just like stop doing it you know because it's like you start beating yourself up each day you get up to go water those plants and then it's just like oh why bother right so it's almost like a lack like motivation kind of like went out the door for you temperance card moderation equilibrium yeah you definitely have you're definitely starting to turn like have things come back into balance now for you aries i feel like again like heavily with the temperance card you notice like there's water here the cups here it's usually because of the balancing of um, emotions. Um, the temperance card is patience as well. So it's almost like this impatience side of where it's like you're trying to uh, further yourself more or try to deepen, uh, you know, just trying to elevate your uh, financial situation. Uh, it's now, it's starting to get, I'm starting to get the sense now, Aries, that you are um, no longer like being too hard on yourself or more so like you're no longer, you're understanding that it's going to take some time right but i feel like you get that patience just because of that wheel of fortune starting to turn and you're just like okay like the blockages are starting to remove now you can get things going again um so very beautiful uh setup for you right now aries for uh your career and financial situation so now let's start getting into my aries's aries social situations for this week. what's going on in my aries social situations let's see See how long it takes to get these cards out. Mm, not very long. All right. Mm, okay. Very big, very big shifts, very big changes in your life and your social situations, Aries. You have the Ten of Cups, the Death card coming in, as well as the Magician card. So similar message in the sense of the your career because it's like the Queen of Air talks or Queen of Swords talks about clearing away stuff that no longer serves you, Aries. And same thing in this kind of situation. Um, I'm kind of like realize like it's kind of like this thing, Aries. Dare, I'm kind of remembering your last week's reading, Aries, as well. Vaguely, I do so many readings, so it's hard for me to keep track. But I almost am positive, Aries, in your last week's reading, um, there is like this interest. Or this desire to deepen a relationship or a connection with someone that you um, kind of had some distance with, right? But you didn't want to uh, take action on it because you weren't sure how they would receive you, how they think about you, Aries. In this situation here, it's almost like on your side of things, on your mental side, you're kind of realizing that just like, oh, like your family life, your close circle, close-knit circle is good, right? And it seems to be like just the death, the ending of a phase of like just being in your head. It's almost like now, especially remember, I was constantly referencing that three of cups with other people. It almost just seems like now you're just in this uh, mode of just creation. Um, you're just in this mode of no longer uh, self-sabotaging your connections or this connection, at least, Aries. And now you're coming more at it from a place of um, you're coming at a place from a. Uh, What's the word for it? You're coming out of a place just ready to just go, you're just ready to uh, have forward movement in whatever way in each of your, really every aspect of your life. Get it out, I'll go. Uh, so I like that. Let's get some clarifiers though. Let's see if we can get any more detail. 
Let's start with this. Temperance card is following you, Aries. Temperance card is following you. So again, like it, it just this is more so confirming to me because you're getting this temperance card following you, uh, Aries. It's confirming to me that this was definitely like a mental shift in your life. It's almost just like that's what the death of this phase was for. It was just like the fate death of just like this old way of thinking for you. Two of Wands comes in with this four of cups, is now it's just like okay, like, where do we go from here, right? You're just like, okay, well, all, like, past is in the past, right? If there was any damage done, it's done, right? Now you're kind of in this place of where it's just like, okay, well, what now? Is it too late now to do anything in this situation, right? And, you know, there is this sense or this fear that I'm sensing where it's just like, oh, like, is this it? Like, um, is it too, like, you, maybe I keep on hearing, are you too late? And we have the Eight of Wands. Uh, and this is just like a card of progress, right? It doesn't give one way or another right now, Aries. There's no official answer to this, um, in this spread at least. But there is just progress in this connection. So, you know, give it time. You know, just like with that Temperance card following you to asking you to, uh, Aries, to start having more patience, right? And also just balancing your emotions. Again, just this constant theme for you of balancing your emotions and just your mental and emotions, all of that together. Um, I just see forward movement with this. So again, have patience at this time. Even right now, um, Aries, if this connection that you're resonating with, with this person, um, for this reading rather, uh, even if right now they're not showing signs of like, you know, forgiveness or interest in, uh, having this connection work out or what have you, uh, have patience at this time. Cause I do see them coming around, or at least that's what the tarot cards are showing to me, Aries. So interesting, beautiful setup for that as well. Now let's get some final thoughts. Knave of Swords, the Emperor card, as well as the Three of Discs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, so Knave of Discs, or Knave of Swords, rather. This is a card, whenever I see this, is someone that feel that's kind of on their guard, feeling a little bit... Um, this is like your saboteur, your inner saboteur, uh, Aries. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm trying to avoid burping on camera. Anytime I start talking a lot, Aries, I start... Like, even now, I just took a big gulp of air for some reason. Um, when I see this card, I see this as, like, your inner saboteur. Sabotaging, it's like that, what's in your mind of being, like, those subtle things. Like, it's kind of like the, the devil that came up for you before. Aries, where it's almost just, like, that, that devil, that little voice in your head that ha puts you in those spirals, right? Whether that was in your connections or whether that's in your uh, other aspects of your life, Aries. Uh, there that little insecurity we'll call it insecurity right because let's just assume it's like an insecurity or just unsureness or what have you um it seems like you're putting a damp like a dampening that voice now seems like you're just over that phase and because of that once you take care of that knave of wands energy that inner voice that inner saboteur that sabotages the good relationships and uh progress that you have in your life then we get into the Emperor and the Three of Discs. This, the Three of Discs is that collaborative energy. Your entire reading, Aries, there is always this indication of just like, your entire reading, there was such an emphasis in including other energies. Energies, Obviously the social situation is gonna, going to, but like even in your general spread or your first starting spread, Aries, as well as your social or career spread, um, there's other energies involved. Three of Pentacles makes it no different. Emperor card comes in as well. Leadership role. You get rid of this inner voice that's sabotaging things in your life, um, Aries. And with uh, getting rid of that, you adopt a new emperor mindset. You, it's similar to that magician card as well. You're just constantly, you're getting all the cards where it's just like that alpha creation, essentially. You're in that alpha creation that... Um, just in this place of where you feel completely control of your life um you're taking action right just a lot of action as well just movement in general aries and i just see yeah this is really if i were to summarize this reading just so many blockages are cleared for you so many blockages are cleared for you so much stuff is just going to start flowing easier for you so this is just such a beautiful bountiful time for you aries um 
really good reading, actually. I like how this all panned out for you. So, um, yeah, my beautiful Aries, that is the cards that I have for you for this general reading this week. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know which cards uh, resonate with you. Be sure to give me a like and subscribe. And then, Aries, be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, my beautiful Aries, I'll connect with you soon. Bye.